These are the TCL Rainio Nextwear SXR glasses, and they're different from any piece of wearable tech that I've used before. Inside here are two dual 1080p micro LED screens that allow you to project the equivalent of a 201 inch display from six meters away. And unlike a lot of AR and VR solutions that require a big elaborate headset, these are small, portable, and a lot more comfortable. There are a whole bunch of use cases for these, and I've been test driving them for a few weeks. So today I'm diving into these next Wear S glasses and going over what that whole experience has been like. If you're someone who travels a lot or you want to create an immersive viewing or gaming experience without spending thousands of dollars on electronics, or if you're just into this kind of tech, you're going to want to stick around for this one. So with that said, let's get into it. Hey everyone, Kyle Erickson here. The TCL Ray Neo Nextwear S are a relatively new set of XR glasses, but in the short time that they've been available, they've already won Best Consumer Device Award this year at MWC's Global Mobile Awards. So when TCL Ray Neo reached out to me to try these out, I definitely wanted to take them up on that offer. Now, I'm purposely saying TCL Ray Neo because while these do have TCL branding, they're in no way affiliated with TCL TV. Ray Neo was founded by TCL Electronics, but solely focus on AR glasses and technology. So I just wanted to make Make it clear that these are a completely separate entity. They were established not that long ago in 2021, but are already working on some really cool products, one of which are these glasses. For me, the next Wear S really open up a number of possibilities for new ways of consuming content at home and for using while commuting or traveling especially with how light and convenient these are to pack around with you and store. Inside the box, you'll find a hard shell carrying case, obviously the glasses themselves, microfiber cloth, quick start guide, a USB-C display port cable, which we'll come back to in a minute. There's an adjustable nose piece and screwdriver and a set of magnetic lenses that you can take to an optometrist if you wear glasses. And then they can put your prescription on those and you can attach them to the Nextwear S frame so everything is clear when you look through them. I should also mention that you can now order tailor-made prescription lenses for these online and they have worldwide shipping. So definitely nice to have all these options if you've got corrective lenses. The glasses themselves have plastic frames which keeps them very light at 89 grams, especially considering everything that's packed into them. On the bottom of these frames on the left arm, there's a volume control for the dual speaker setup inside these glasses. And opposite that on the right is a brightness control and a 2D, 3D mode switcher. These are both very convenient and easy to use. Across the front and in the top are where the screens are located. Those are dual Sony 1080p micro LED displays. This will give you a full HD image and 49 PPD density that produces a very clear image with vibrant colors. The front tinted lenses are magnetic and removable. Without them, it's gonna make your surroundings a lot more visible and have more of that AR experience where with them on, it tends to feel a lot more more immersive. Before we get into how all that works, I just want to note that there is no battery with this device, so everything is going to be powered by the USB-C cable provided. That will just clip into place again magnetically on the back of the frames and plug into a DisplayPort enabled USB-C device. If you're unsure of what DisplayPort enabled USB-C is, you can think of devices that have external monitor support over USB-C, so MacBooks, iPad Pros, or Airs with USB-C. Most modern Samsung Galaxy S or Note phones will have it, and various PCs and laptops as well. For other devices like iPhones or Android phones that don't have that support, you can still have those work via this mirror screen adapter, which is just plug and play. This essentially allows your device to transfer its video signal over to the glasses. Similarly, if you have a device that only has HDMI output, things like gaming consoles, for example, you can also purchase an HDMI to USB-C adapter that will convert that video signal as well. Once I have that set up in any of these configurations, the Nextwear S act as a primary display if I've got them hooked up to HDMI devices like my Xbox or PS5, or as a secondary display with a computer or tablet that I can either extend or mirror just like a monitor. And at a six meter distance, as I mentioned earlier, it will give you the equivalent of a 201 inch display. I was actually very surprised at how sharp the image is. Everything is very clear and you've got great contrast and color. I believe these cover 108% of the sRGB color gamut and there's not really any screen door effect or anything like that that you sometimes see with VR headsets and it really does look like you're looking at an actual TV or monitor. These screens also have TUV Rhineland certified eye protection which enable low blue light, flicker free and eye comfort features and in general just helps with eye strain and fatigue. The moment that I popped these on and noticed how clear everything was, I immediately thought of how useful they would be while traveling. Say if you're on a plane or commuting, these will provide a very immersive experience if you're watching content. 
but also if you're working on something, this localizes everything to your eyes only. So if you're looking at sensitive materials or you just don't want people looking over your shoulder at your screen, these definitely solve that. And even if you're not using these while traveling, I still think there's a lot of value in having a super portable, wearable display. I can turn almost any space into a highly focused, immersive experience without the need to have a whole bunch of supporting gear or electronics. Gaming is really fun on the next Wear S and probably what I love about them the most. My gaming consoles obviously don't have a USB-C out to work with these glasses, but with this Guvis HDMI to USB-C adapter, I can convert pretty much any HDMI signal to work with them. Gaming on these is probably the most immersive experience I find with them. I love playing first person and racing games, and this is very smooth in terms of the graphics and movement on the screen. The picture is great, the audio is outstanding, which we'll get into in a minute, but also just playing content. Watching Netflix, Apple TV, even YouTube has been fantastic. The only thing that I'll say about watching content is if you're using the mirror screen adapter, sites like YouTube work perfectly fine for video, but you might have trouble with streaming services with DRM protection like Netflix or Disney Plus, and that's just due to how that screen casting process works. So if you plan on watching media outside of YouTube with this adapter, you might be best served if it's offline or downloaded to your device. So all that stuff is great. Absolutely no complaints there, but if you want to take this experience even further than using this as a primary or secondary display, if you've got an Android DisplayPort enabled device, you can download the TCL app and that will give you head tracking, 3D content support, live streaming support, and a whole bunch of goodies. All you need to do, provided that you do have a supported Android device, is download that app from the TCL website, install it, and when it prompts you, plug into the glasses and you should be good to go. From there, you can look around the screen, use your phone as a remote control, which I think is really cool. You can throw on 3D panoramic or 3D videos, access apps like YouTube and Amazon Prime right from the TCL dashboard and a bunch of other fun stuff. I've used these both in and outside of the Android app for an extended period of time without any issues. The frames are comfortable and the sound that comes out of here is quite good for not being in ear. Because the speaker array is located close to your ear, the next Wear S get reasonably loud. They're definitely crisp sounding and work great for content and gaming. Like I said, I noticed this the most while gaming. The sound does an amazing job giving you a surround-like experience where you can definitely notice the distinction and where the audio is coming from or which channel it's going through, which does make this experience a lot more engaging. I've also been sitting right beside someone with the volume cranked up all the way on these, and even though they do have an open design, there's barely any sound leakage, and other folks can hardly hear any noise, and a lot of that is due to a feature called Whisper Mode. You can see Whisper Mode in the app settings, and what that is is an advanced acoustic phase cancellation method that prevents audio from spilling out. So even with the volume turned up all the way, there's still minimal sound going into the outside world. So you're not going to annoy anyone around you and you can keep the audio exclusive to your own experience. For me, the next Wear S XR glasses allow me to really focus on any kind of office work without external distractions and privatize that experience. And they're also great from an entertainment perspective, just providing a cinematic or immersive experience as it relates to TV, movies, or gaming, regardless of the setting. I love that I can just fit everything in into this little hard shell case and pack them around with me on trips or when I'm traveling and they're relatively affordable as well. These are priced at 399 USD, which is pretty decent given all the tech that's packed in here. Having said that, I would love to hear from everyone else on this. Would you use a pair of glasses like this or would you find them useful and what would you use them for? Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for me today. I hope you found this video useful or entertaining. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. If you wanna see more tech related content or take turns wearing each other's shoes for an entire day, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next upload.